I'm Clint Engel with Furniture Today. We're here in Downers Grove, Illinois at Art Van Furniture's largest store. And I'm here with uh, founder and uh, chairman Art Van Elslander and CEO Kim Yost. All right, so for first I wanted to ask you just to tell me a little bit about the store. The, the, it's your largest, so talk about the size and the significance of that, if you would. Go ahead, would you like to do that, Kim? Well, the building that we're in right now was a Home Depot Expo. And by the nature of it, it was four cement walls with no real personality. And what made the transformation so unique is that what we see today is nothing like what we saw months ago when Mr. Van bought the building. One thing I could see was that the location was tops, absolutely the best. Homemakers was right here, right next door for many, many years. And we came close to buying Homemakers in 1989. So when I looked at the location, I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. But when I looked at this building, I was actually fearful of taking it apart and doing what, what we ultimately have done. What, what kind of investment is this for you? Well, there's three parts to the investment. One, we bought the building and the land. That was a large investment. Think in terms of millions. Then secondly, we had to put an investment in turning it into what you see here today, which was the transformation. And then the third, which will be ultimately the largest investment, is the marketing and telling people about it. And so call it the branding. So when you add those three, it's in the tens of millions of dollars. The thing I can tell you is that I will not hold the budgeting department uh, responsible if, if, if we're out of whack and we are completely because every time I came here I said let's do it let's do it I don't care what the cost is I love what I see let's continue to do it very good okay so this um, this is your eighth store in Chicago it's your largest store is there significance to why the eighth store is the largest and how much more growth you have in to go in in Chicago I don't think there's any significance to the number eight. I think this just fell into line because we have four right behind it that, that we're opening, I think, two in the next uh, few months, and then two that will follow that and additional stores that we're looking at. But the one thing that we wanted to do here, Clint, was to dominate the Chicago market. We've looked at Chicago for a long time. Uh, it's a sister state as far as we're concerned. We had been shipping into Chicago anyway. And we said, if we're going to go there, we're going to go there and become important. How, how many more stores? Uh, I think I've seen uh, uh, 16. And you've talked, Kim, about the you saw 18 opportunities in Chicago. Yes, well, actually, the number continues to grow. We can't be held to a significant number that says whether it's 16, 18, or 20. Because of our franchising model, we're in the process now of redoing in Rockford, Illinois, uh, a store that had been in existence for three generations to an Art Van franchise. So when you think of both corporate and franchise stores, we're now looking well beyond 20 that could either be predominantly in Chicagoland or on the excerpts uh, around it. So, so that number keeps growing. Uh, here's something interesting I wanted to tell you when we talk about the store and its uniqueness. We were two years working on this transaction. This was not an easy transaction. It was held by Home Depot had a lease and there was a few bunch of other things. And this was about patience because we waited on the doorstep anxiously. We did a lot of, let's call it interesting negotiations to get this building. So when you talk about the backstory about how this building happened, it wasn't easy. Well, tell me about what's brand new that here that we're seeing for the first time. Well, I think you're seeing a Scott Shep trying uh, like we have never had. We have Scott Shep trying in other stores, but nothing like this particular one. Uh, in Chicago, right? right, right in 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 Chicago, and uh, it's it's fabulous. But I think I think when you look at Urban, Urban is a, a new department for us, but nothing like we have uh, here. I, you know, and today is my first day to see some of these things really come to fruition as well. I'm so very very proud of everything and. And it's, a, it's not only an expanded, uh, uh, you know, where we've taken departments and expanded them. We've actually added things like our carpeting department is beautiful here. Our pure sleep is even larger than any pure sleep that we have. It's, it's, uh, it's the store of stores. If I could just add on to Mr. Van's comments regarding some of the new things. Think of this store as a concept store. 
we have tested and are in the process of trying many new things that don't exist in either the original seven here in Chicago or even in some of our large store volumes in Michigan. And so the entire organization saw this as kind of like a concept car. We're trying some new things. We're adding things that are proven, that have already been successful. And our goal is to take this as a laboratory and learn from it so that when we open store number nine, 10 and 11, as Mr. Van said, we have four more in the pipeline, they will just continue to get better. And back when you opened your first store in 2013, I think that was Art Van 2.0. Is this Art Van 3.0? Yes, it is, with a little bit of 4.0. Why we name our stores is so that we can keep up with the generation of evolution. As we continue to build new stores, we want to make sure that our design elements, our product presentations, continue to be described internally as to what we're progressing. Just like cars have each year, this is what our stores are. So when you walk through this store, you will see the best in 3.0.